Hi, today I'm gonna to talk to you about wineberry, which is an invasive deciduous shrub, which has invaded a lot of our forest ecosystems here in the Lower Hudson Prism region. It was brought to the United States in around 1890 as a rootstock for some of our cultivated raspberries, but unfortunately it has escaped cultivation and has now become naturalized. As you can see behind me, I've got a couple of wineberries here. They tend to grow in big canes and these arching canes. And actually these canes are capable of reproduction if, they, if and when they touch the soil and actually new uh, shoots can come out and reproduce that way as well as through seed dispersal. So let's take a closer look at some of these uh, key identifying features and uh, show you how it can be distinguished from some of the native raspberries and native blackberries that we have. Here you can really see the curved art structure of these branches. But let's take a closer look at uh, what really distinguishes it from some of the native blackberries and raspberries are these really finish red hairs. So you can see that the branch itself is red. Uh, sometimes it can be green, but certainly the hairs, the, these fine red hairs that come out are red and it turns red typically as it matures. You can see the thorns in there as well. Those thorns are pretty straight up and down, not like the curved thorns of multiflora rose. You can see the leaves that are next to it. So it's a compound leaf, so it means that the leaf itself is divided into three leaflets. You can see that there are three on this. Uh, the native blackberries, raspberries have anywhere between three and five. Um, and as usually as they grow older, those native ones will, will start to form into five. Uh, but here, the wineberry will have three. If I flip this upside down, you'll see that the underside is whitish and as this um as the wineberry matures it'll uh, develop even wider um, and that's just another key feature but really it's these reddish hairs that is unlike anything else that we'd find in the native in our forests here you're looking at the curved arch of native black raspberry but let's take a closer look and you'll see that it's not quite like wineberry and easy to distinguish so as we zoom in and get closer you will see that the stem and branch itself, it's very smooth. Yes, it's got the thorns that run along it, but if you if I move my thumb up and down here, there's none of those finest red hairs that distinguish it from it. And even though the leaves and the leaflets might look somewhat similar, it's really just this smooth part of this that in wineberry would have those finest red hairs to it. So that's the easy way to tell apart.